Here in Hollywood with Red Fox, I've been looking forward to meeting this man. First of all, I want to ask you if it was your idea to spell it R-E-D-D-F-O-X-X. -X. Yes, it was. When I first uh, was, I was searching for a name that could be remembered by everyone, and I thought about Red Fox, you know, and, and then Ed in the first reading, so I figured if a kid, you know, three or four could remember the Red Fox, that would be a good name. So I added extra D and extra X to make it a name instead of like the animal or the color of an animal, you know. So and then eight letters in the marquee, you always be sure you've enough room to get your name on. And it works out pretty well. And it works well. out pretty well. Yeah. And of course, now everybody's knowing you as Sanford of Sanford and Sanford. Yeah, some of my dearest friends now have forgot Red Fox. They all call me Sanford. Like Slappy White and I were partners for many years. And now he even calls me Sanford. And I have a cousin, it's my real name. So it is an odd for me to turn around and answer. Because you know? <laughs> Sanford is my family name. What changes has this hit TV series made in your life this past year? Uh, not too many, other than the fact that I sleep at night now instead of sleeping in the day as I did when I was working at nightclubs. Yeah, now, for a lot of actors, though, that's tough to, to make. Oh, the transition good. is terrible. You know, it took me about two months to, you know, be able to close my eyes at night. You know, it was all my life, you know, 35 years in nightclubs, I've been sleeping all day, you know, and the shades were drawn, and now I'm up bright and early, you know, eating breakfast and stuff like that, and it's really odd for me. But I love it. What's it difficult for you, Rev, when you're first on the set, uh, shooting Sanford and Son, the fact that you didn't have an audience to play to and you didn't get reaction? Well, that... see, no, we do have a, a live audience. You know, we record before five, between five or six hundred people every week. Always. There, oh, there yeah. are people there. Every show. Our, our laughs are authentic. Our laughs come from the live audience that's there in the studio. So that makes it really nice, you know, to perform before a live audience. Did you insist on that, Red? No, I think it came from the fact that the same people that own All in the Family own our show. So naturally, they had such a success with All in the Family with a live audience. So I guess they tried it the same way with our show. And I, I had no idea I could remember 40 pages of script every week, you know, and uh, with no cue cards or anything to read. And it's really fascinating, you know. I guess the experience of being in the business so long helped, you know. Yeah. Is it conceivable that uh, you will ever visit Archie Bunker and he will visit you? I've thought about it quite often, and uh, I wish it could happen, you know. Maybe somewhere they might have a, put a special together or something like that. Yeah. There's our little dog friend. <laughs> Red is uh, worried about that dog. I just love dogs. <laughs> I do, too. Yeah, I have seven of them. Seven? Yeah. What kinds are they? Uh, two German Shepherds, uh, St. Bernard, weighs 260 pounds, Squirrel Terrier, Maltese, Dachshund, and one that I don't know what he is. Can you remember all their names? Oh, yeah. What are their uh, names? Uh, Killer and Sweetie. St. Bernard, I call him Saint, and uh, Lady is the Dachshund, and the Maltese is named Tarleton because she has one black eye and she's white. And um, Casino is my other dog. You know, I, I got him up in Las Vegas, so I named him Casino. There's no point in me even asking you, but I will to give equal time to the cat lovers. <laughs> oh, no, they, they, they got it. You don't have any cats, though. No, I couldn't have cats with the amount of dogs I have. Do you like cats? I don't know. I never had one. You know, so that lets me out of the with the cat lovers. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, see, I'm already on record as saying that I have great rapport with horses. I own a Palomino mare. Great okay. rapport with dogs. Uh, but uh, I, I just don't seem to hit it off with cats. Oh, well, I won't say anything. Okay. Uh, Fred, what kind of mail do we get on San Francisco? Well, we get uh, mail that you, I think any performer would appreciate getting, you know, good mail. We get a few cranks here and there, but the number's so small, you know, it's almost uh, not even mentioning it, you know, because people have a right to their opinion. If they take time to write a letter, I get, take time to give them an answer as reasonable as possible. Like um, this uh, lady wrote a letter wanting to know why we had to be junk men. And I, tell, I had a letter written to her by my secretary and said, well, the show was written for two white junk men, and we were fortunate enough to get the show, and we're two black junk men. I'm not responsible for my color, but we, there's no black astronauts, so there's no story that I could do about black astronauts or nuclear physicists or whatever, you know. And it's just a real show. I told her she'd go in her neighborhood, she'd find a couple of black junk men, you know. Are there going to be any drastic changes in the show or the content this season, Red? I think we'll just have uh, better stories, you know, although I, I love the stories that we did, but I think we'll have a little stronger thing in the show, you know. I hope a little bolder here and there about subjects, you know. Do you ever uh, run into any sort of controversy with the script? In other words, do you ever have lines that you just really don't like and you fight not to say them? Well, I don't have to fight, you know, we have a very congenial 
crew and producer and writer, and if there's something I'd like change, they're usually agreeable with me. Because I'm, I'm, through the past 14 shows, I've given them quite a bit of help, I think, in making it real. I think that has a lot to do with success because a lot of blacks, I, I think the majority of blacks, aren't offended by the show because it's meant for entertainment and we don't have messages, you know. It's just good uh, entertainment. That's why I, when, at the end of my, our letters, when we write our fans, we say, peace on Friday. You're a very good friends with Flip Wilson, and he credits you for a great deal of his uh, success now and the fact that he's been able to make it uh, real big. Do you remember the first time you ever saw Flip Wilson? Yeah, you know, the first time I saw him, uh, I was in Miami, and he was working at a little small nightclub, and uh, I thought he was funny then. He was the best comedian in the Florida area, black comedian, so I was on Johnny Carson's show once, and I just left Flip in Cleveland. And Johnny Carson, it was my first time on Johnny Carson's show, but I was on with uh, Hugh Downs. And uh, Hugh had promised me in San Francisco during the last Republican uh, convention in San Francisco, you know, four years ago, uh, eight years ago it was. And he had promised me if I came to New York that he would see to it that I got on the t Tonight Show, a Today Show. And so I went on the day show with him, and the show was good, and got a lot of laughs. So that night he was hosting Johnny's show, and he brought me on. And uh, in the process, it was a good show. And so Johnny heard about me, and she said, I want Fox back. So when I went back, he asked me, who was the funniest black comedian, young comedian coming up? I said, Flip Wilson. So he was on about a month later, and about a week after he was on Johnny Carter's show, he got hijacked to Cuba. I think it was the first hijacking they had in America, because Flip was on the plane. So he got that publicity, plus the, he was so good on the show, and he never looked back anymore, you know. So we, we remain good friends. Thank good you. All, you know. Thank you very much for talking with us today, Red. Thank you very much. And we wish you continued success on Sanford and Sons. Thank you so much. Same to you. A lot of success.